Down a hot and dusty road Tramps a soldier with his load Ten days leave he has to spend Will his journey never end? Marching home, marching on his way. Marching, marching all the day, soon he will be home to stay. This isn't a bad sort of spot. <laughs> Join the army. I've had my lot. Always on trek, not a penny to bless. Struth, my kit's in a hell of a mess. Where's my St. Joseph? He looks in his pack for a lucky medallion he has with the face of his namesake. Good. There we are. He starts rummaging. Where's her picture? The picture his girlfriend gave him the day he went off to enlist. Ah, here it is. And right in the middle, he brings out an old brown fiddle. It didn't cost much. The tone's not rich. You have to keep screwing it up to pitch. The devil appears. He is a little old man carrying a butterfly net. Suddenly, he stops and listens. The soldier has not seen him. The devil approaches the soldier from behind. 
Here the devil steps up to the soldier who springs up in alarm. Give me your fiddle. No. Sell it to me. No. The devil holds out in his right hand a book he has been carrying under his left arm. I'll give you this book for it then. Can't read. You can't read. <laughs> that makes no difference. There's no need. With this book, you don't have to read. It's more than a book. It's wealth untold. You've only to open it. Lo and behold, banknotes, bearer bonds, and gold. The soldier shows interest. Can I take a quick look? Certainly, certainly, here's the book. The devil holds the book out to the soldier who begins to read. So, you've a real bargain. Uh, right then, it's a deal. The soldier gives up his old brown fiddle in exchange for the devil's book. On sight, collateral, note of hand, market quotations for Monday, May the 7th. What day's today? It's Sunday the 6th. What's this? Here's a book that's ahead of the date. A strange sort of book. It tells you things before they happen. Come home with me now. What do you say? This thing, this violin won't play. You must teach me how to make a tune. But I've only gotten days leave to stay. Mother will worry if I'm late. It's not the first time she'll have to wait. And my girlfriend expects me to. You... Make it up to her soon. She'll be the more pleased when you do. Two or three days, a step out of your way, and then you'll be as rich as the Prince of Cathay. So Joseph goes off home with old Nick, and he finds that the old boy doesn't cheat. New clothes, soft beds, and plenty to eat. Yes, Joseph is properly done with a treat. And each shows the other as they undertook the way of the fiddle and the way of the book. Yes, the old fellow kept his word two days well spent. Then came the third. That morning, the old man wakes Joseph as soon as it's light, and he says, Are you ready? And Joseph says, Right. Did you have a good night? And Joseph says, Yes. And the devil looks on as he gets up to dress. Have you any complaints? And Joseph says, No. Right you are, says old Nick. Then off we go. They get in the carriage waiting below, and the devil says, Hop! And off they go. <laughs> Down a hot and dusty road Tramps a soldier with his load Ten days leave he has to spend Will his journey never end? Marching home, marching on his way. He's 
been marching all the day. Happy now he's home to stay. Then everything is as it was before. <sighs> Hooray! Here we are. We're home at last. Good morning, Mrs. Gray. She's in her garden. Hello there. How's the world with you? She doesn't hear me. Never mind. Hey, there's Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Hi. He's mowing the five-acre meadow, a good old friend and true. Hey, what's the matter? He doesn't reply. Arthur, hi. Don't you know me? Why, it's Joseph. Joseph the soldier. Joe, you remember him, you know? And there's the school with the tower and the bell. Joseph, old Joe, you remember him well? Here's the mill, the inn, now villagers everywhere. Men, women, children stand and stare. What's the matter? What's up with you, Lot? What's got into you all? Are you afraid of me or what? You know me, all of you, Joseph. No one speaks. And then a door slams. And another slams. And more and more. And the rusty hinges shriek as every door slams shut. That's funny. But Mother will know. I better go. She sees me coming. She screams and runs away. And there, I think I see my fiancé married with two children. The dirty cheat, the dirty rotten cheat. I know who you are. I know what's happened. I know you. It wasn't three days. Three years have passed. Oh, I should have had my suspicions, but no, I listened to him like a fool. And I gave him my fiddle. And now what am I going to do? What am I going to do now? The soldier takes out the book and begins to read. And the words mean money, and more money, and still more money, as much as a man could need. It's more than a book, it's wealth untold. You've only to open it low and behold, you can have all you want, and more if truth be told.
mine. He stops. All? Nothing? All nothing. Nothing at all. I have everything. Nothing. Satan. Satan! You've cheated me! What can I do? Does it say in the book? He snatches it up and starts to look. You must know! The devil appears again, this time disguised as an old beggar woman. Please, kind sir, can I come in? What do you want? I'll explain, sir. It's this. I have a little case outside full of rare, precious things, sir. I'd be glad. No, thank you. The devil brings out the soldier's old violin. Oh, what a little fiddle be best. That's got the soldier's attention. To own it again, I know I'd be blessed. How much, I say. Well, as we're friends, I won't stand in the way. We'll fix a price. Let's hear you play. The soldier seizes the violin. He tries to play. But the violin remains silent. And then the devil snatches back the violin and disappears. The soldier throws the book away with all his strength. Down a hot and dusty road Tramps a man without his load Someone trudging on and on Many, many miles he's gone Over hill and dale he goes Where he's heading, no one knows Is he taking the homeward road? The road he took before Home no, it's not his anymore. Now he goes the other way. Cannot stay on his way, on his way. Marches on all day. Now he comes to another land, a village on the frontier. Someone starts to beat a drum because the princess of the realm, the only daughter of the king, lies ill in bed. She neither sleeps, nor speaks, nor eats, nor anything. And the king proclaims to the sound of the drum that whatsoever man shall raise his daughter from her bed, that man, the fair princess, shall wed. Just in that moment, a man comes up to Joseph and says, Hello, chum. When I saw you came in and you was alone, I said to myself, have a word with him. Go on over. Who knows? This may be his big chance. A lovely young girl. And what about it? A princess, too. Think of that. I'd say it was made for you. Be a doctor. Well, that's whatever you choose. Besides, you know you've nothing to lose by trying. You go, you say, I'm a doctor. She's cured, she's not. It's worth a shot. Why not? After all, why not? <laughs>
received me, the king, no less. He said to me, you are a doctor. An army doctor, yes. Many have come, you know, but none have stayed. Oh, I have my methods, I said. I, I'm not dismayed. Very well. Tomorrow you see the princess. Why not? Why shouldn't the luck be mine? I'll have a wife of my own, only for me. And what's more, a princess too. <laughs> but what can I use to cure the princess? I could play the violin. That surely will put things right again. But the devil stole it. He has cursed my sin. How can I get back my violin? I'll offer to play him at cards. He's sure to win. But I'll get back my violin and show the devil the door. So that's exactly what I did. And won back all that I had gained and more. I gave the devil drink. I left him drunk with his winnings passed out on the floor. Then I took back my violin. Princess, now we can safely say, he who will cure you is on his way. Soon now he's going to come to you because there's nothing he can't do.
Soon now he'll be outside your door because he's found himself once more. Soon now he'll come to claim his wife because he has been brought back to life. There on her bed, the princess lies still as death with tight closed eyes. The soldier begins to play the violin. princess gets up from her bed and she begins to dance.
The soldier holds the princess close. The devil enters. This time dressed as the devil. He crawls on all fours. He grabs at the fiddle as the soldier plays, but to no avail, as its music forces him to dance and dance and dance, he hasn't a chance. Exhausted and bewitched, the devil collapses on the floor. The soldier takes the princess by the hand, and she, now free from harm, falls into the soldier's arms. <laughs> But then, the devil suddenly pops his head around the door behind them. All right, I shall have to wait, but this realm of yours is not so great. If once its frontier should be passed, then you'll be in my power at last. So do not push your luck too far then, then my lady, you find that you are back in bed again. As for her prince, he can't pretend he doesn't know my patience now is at an end. He who laughs the last, he laughs most, as I shall do to watch him most. With that, the devil disappears. <laughs> Thank you. 
And the moral? You must not seek to add to what you have, what you once had. You have no right to share what you are with what you were. No one can have it all. That is forbidden. You must learn to choose between. One happy thing is every happy thing. Two is as if it had never been. I have everything, he thinks. But one day she, she says, I know so little about you still. Tell me about yourself. Come on, tell me. Well, it all started a long, long time ago. There was a cottage I used to share with my mother. I was a soldier then, you know, far, far away. I've almost forgotten where. Suppose, suppose we went then. She says, No, it's forbidden. Suppose we go. We'd be back before we were missed. No one would ever know. She looks at him and smiles and says, You want to. I can see you do. It isn't much to ask of you. Say yes. Say yes, say yes, say yes. Why not? You want to. I can see you do. He says, Come over here to me. Not until you say yes. And so he thinks, If we did go, perhaps this time my mother will know me. Why not? Just to pay a call. And she could come and live with us, and then I should really have it all. At this moment, the devil appears again, wearing a magnificent scarlet costume. The devil has the violin, and he begins to play.
They're on their way. They're nearly there. A scent, he knows, hangs in the air. He has gone on ahead to find the frontier. She is a little way behind. He calls her, he turns back, then changes his mind. The devil greets him at the frontier post. The soldier begins to follow the devil without resisting. Then he stops for a moment. Forget all that. There's no more time. The game is over, and now you're mine! 